weekly artificial intelligence and robot news. After viewing the newest technological and robotics innovations in this weekly update, you can't help but be impressed. Future technology and robotics research are doing their best to develop spectacular and helpful staff. So today we have a robotic arm, more like Bucky from Marvel, a matter simulation of AI and many more new topics to share with you. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like and also press the bell icon to never miss an update about artificial intelligence, robotics and future technology. That being said, let's begin. With no-code, reusable AI, we're elevating human-machine partnerships. Human-machine connections have evolved in tandem with the advancement of computing technologies. Initially, only computer architects or programmers could operate computers by providing them with machine instructions that the computers could understand and follow. The human-machine connection may be completely changed with the emergence of synthetic intelligence, AI computer systems with proven human knowledge. What if, as in the film, her, we could purchase a ready-made AI assistant with built-in human experience and customize it without writing any code to meet our specific requirements. Developing an AI system from the ground up is always difficult and takes a lot of knowledge and resources. More advanced AI systems combine a variety of human talents to do complex tasks. All of the specialized AI engines might be made reusable with careful design and implementation. A template like this might be quickly customized or reused to create a turnkey AI helper. Because each AI resolution may necessitate specific adjustments, reusable AI allows for no-code AI customizations. For non-IT experts, no-code customization greatly simplifies the building of a strong end-to-end -end AI system. An AI assistant just has to be told what to do. For example, asking clients a series of questions, following which it will carry out the tasks mechanically. When individuals program or code a machine to demonstrate it, they are acting in the role of machine operators and builders. Next, with the assistance of augmented reality, Bendy, the robotic arm twisted into shape, Imperial College researchers have created a bendable robotic arm that can be shaped using augmented reality AR goggles. The flexible arm, which was developed at Imperial College, London, can twist and bend in any direction, allowing it to be easily customized for use in manufacturing, spaceship repair, and even injury rehabilitation. Instead of being limited by inflexible limbs and stiff joints, the adoptable arm may bend into several configurations. People working alongside the robot would physically bend the arm into the precise form required for each activity, thanks to the slick layers of mylar sheets within, which glide over one another and may lock into position. Users have found it challenging to configure the robot into specified forms without help. Users may interact with their robot via mixed reality smart glasses and motion tracking cameras. Templates and designs appear in front of users, overlaid on their real-world surroundings. Imperial College London researchers have constructed a robot arm that can bend and turn in any way. Users may see how to construct the robot in augmented reality using a template and motion tracking cameras. It has the potential to be employed in manufacturing, spaceship maintenance, and even injury rehabilitation. Manufacturing, construction, and vehicle maintenance are all possible uses. The arm's minimal weight means it might be employed on spacecraft where lightweight equipment is preferred. It's also soft enough to be employed in injury rehabilitation, assisting patients with one activity while their physiotherapist works on another. Next, animal brains are also important for the next generation of artificial intelligence. According to Tony Zador, a neuroscientist at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, CSHL, artificial intelligence, AI, still has a lot to learn from animal brains. Now, he's hopeful that neuroscience teachings may aid the next generation of artificial intelligence in overcoming some extremely challenging obstacles. Anthony Zador, MD, PhD, has dedicated his career to trying to characterize the intricate neuronal networks that make up a living brain down to the individual neuron level. However, he began his career by researching artificial neural networks, ANNs. The branching networks of neurons in animal and human brains inspired ANNs which are the computer systems underpinning the recent AI revolution. However, the inspiration generally stops at this broad notion. Artificial intelligence may one day allow robots to learn to perform something as natural as tracking prey or constructing a nest, or as human and humdrum as doing the dishes. Things that we think are difficult, such as abstract cognition or chess play, are not difficult for robots. We believe it is simply because we have had half a billion years of evolution to wire our circuits in such a way that we can accomplish it with ease. As a result, according to Zador, the key to speedy learning may not be a perfected general learning algorithm. Instead, he claims that evolution has modeled biological brain networks into a type of scaffolding that allows for rapid and simple learning of certain tasks. 
usually those that are critical for survival. The intrinsic circuitry that helps direct an animal's early learning, according to Zador, is one effect of this genetic tendency. These scaffolding networks, on the other hand, are significantly less generic than the machine learning panacea that most AI experts are chasing. Zador claims that if ANNs can identify and modify similar sets of circuits, future domestic robots may simply surprise us with clean dishes. Next, the robots learn to trick. Animal, a legged robot built by ETH Zurich researchers, led by Marco Hutter, has developed a novel control strategy that allows it to walk rapidly and reliably over rough terrain. For the first time, the robot can combine its visual awareness of the world with its sense of touch, thanks to machine learning. The approach to the 1,098-meter-high Mount Edsel near the southern end of Lake Zurich is riddled with several challenges, including steep stretches on slick terrain, high stairs, scree, and root-infested forest pathways. However, Animal, a quadrupedal robot from ETH Zurich's Robotic Systems Lab, climbs 120 vertical meters in just 31 minutes. That's four minutes faster than a human hiker would take, and without any falls or stumbles. This is made feasible by a novel control technique, recently reported in the journal Science Robotics by researchers at ETH Zurich, led by robotics professor Marco Hutter. Humans and animals integrate their visual perception of their environments with their proprioception of their legs and hands to negotiate challenging terrain. This enables them to navigate slick or mushy terrain with ease and confidence, even when vision is limited. Legged robots have only been able to accomplish this to a limited extent up until now. Animal robots can be employed in situations when humans are too hazardous, and other robots are unable to cope with the harsh terrain, such as after an earthquake, after a nuclear disaster, or during a forest fire. The robot caretakers of the Lunar Gateway are next. The Lunar Gateway, a space station that will be humanity's first permanent base outside of low Earth orbit, is an important aspect of NASA's plan to send people to the moon this decade. Gateway is a collaboration between NASA, the Canadian Space Agency CSA, the European Space Agency ESA, and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency JAXA that aims to enable lunar surface operations while also serving as a staging station for Mars exploration. In November 2024, the first components of the new Gateway space station will be mounted to a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. The Gateway will be a fraction of the size of the International Space Station ISS. It will circle the Moon and the Earth initially consisting of only two modules, with more modules to be added over time. Gateway has certain particular issues as a result of this. On the International Space Station, astronauts devote a significant amount of time to station maintenance, but Gateway will be required to work for long periods without any direct human help. NASA is working on a Vehicle System Manager, or VSM, that will function similarly to the ubiquitous computer systems featured aboard nearly every science fiction spaceship. The VSM will oversee all of Gateway's operations, resolving any issues that arise to the degree that they can be resolved with intelligent software and occasional human interaction. Intravehicular Robotics IVR, might be deployed on the Gateway Space Station to accomplish a range of activities. Beginning in 2011, Robonaut 2, a full-size humanoid robot, spent many years aboard the International Space Station. Astro Bees are a trio of cubicle, toaster-sized, free-flying robots that have taken up home aboard the International Space Station. IVR will be able to operate independently for up to three weeks without needing to communicate with Earth. The idea is to replicate Earth's and Mars' three-week solar conjunction. With the support of a fleet of autonomous robots, Gateway will be able to function autonomously for up to three years. The station will also feature an airlock where equipment may be passed in and out. There will be several science payloads on board, including heliophysics and space weather research. Following that, there is Cheetah Robot, that taught itself to sprint in an odd way. Human newborns can't run 9 miles per hour right after birth, which is probably for the best. Crawling and then walking successfully takes years of practice, during which time moms don't have to worry about their children running away from home. Roboticists, on the other hand, don't have that sort of time, so they're working on ways for robots to learn to move via trial and error, much as newborns do, only much faster. The movement you'd see isn't particularly elegant. However, MIT scientists announced last week that they were able to get this research platform a four-legged machine known as Mini Cheetah to reach its fastest speed ever, nearly 13 feet per second, or 9 miles per hour. By encouraging digital versions of the machine to experiment with running in a simulated world rather than meticulously hand-coding the lines of its movement by line. 
What the system came up with is unusual. However, the researchers were able to transfer the virtual robot's knowledge into a real machine that could subsequently bolt across any terrain without collapsing. Reinforcement learning is the name for this method. Imagine hanging a toy in front of a newborn to urge it to crawl, but instead of a baby, the researchers simulated 4,000 robots and encouraged them to learn to walk, then run in numerous directions. Digital Mini Cheetahs tested their skills on a variety of virtual surfaces that were programmed to have different amounts of friction and softness. This trained the virtual robots for the variety of real-world surfaces they'd encounter, such as grass, pavement, ice, and gravel. Next, DeepMind uses artificial intelligence to simulate matter at the nanoscale. DeepMind shows how neural networks may be used to more correctly explain electron interactions in chemical systems than previous techniques. The mapping between electron density and interaction energy is described by density functional theory, which was developed in the 1960s. The actual nature of the mapping between electron density and interaction energy, the so-called density functional, has remained unclear for more than 50 years. DeepMind has demonstrated that neural networks can be used to generate a more precise picture of electron density and interaction than was previously possible, which is a huge step forward for science. DeepMind was able to train the model to learn functionals free of two important systematic errors the delocalization error and spin symmetry breaking by expressing the function as a neural network and incorporating exact properties into the training data. This resulted in a better description of a broad class of chemical reactions. In the short term, the availability of the code will provide researchers with a better approximation of the precise density functional for immediate usage. In the long run, it's another step toward demonstrating deep learning's potential for precisely mimicking matter at the quantum mechanical level, which might enable material design in a computer by allowing researchers to investigate nanoscale problems regarding materials, medicines, and catalysts. Next, calculations show that humans will be unable to contain superintelligent machines. Researchers from Germany's Max Planck Institute for Human Development claim to have demonstrated that artificial intelligence in the superintelligent category would be difficult for humans to contain with competing software in a new study. The Institute for Human Development in Berlin researches how humans learn, as well as how we develop and train robots to learn. A superintelligent AI outperforms humans in terms of intellect and can teach itself new skills. This phenomenon has sparked a lot of discussion and investigation. Superintelligent AIs, according to the Planck News release, already exist in certain capacities. There are already robots that can accomplish some critical jobs without programmers completely understanding how they learned it, says study co-author Manuel Serbrian. The concern then becomes whether this may become uncontrolled and hazardous to mankind at some time. A superintelligent AI will have amassed so much knowledge that it will be impossible for us to plan a large enough container it will most likely not resemble our cumbersome, human-made programming languages. This may appear frightening, yet it is critical knowledge for scientists to have. Without the ghost of a fail-safe algorithm, computer scientists may focus on other projects. Today's episode of our weekly updates on the newest futuristic technologies and robots comes to a close. Next time, we'll bring you even more exciting robots news. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with us. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.